should nuclear be part of the conversation? We're big fans of nuclear. Um, we just made an investment into Westinghouse. When you look at every, uh, when you look at every pathway for how this world is going to get to net zero, nuclear is a huge part of that. It's part of the IEA's net zero plan, and we think nuclear will remain and continue to be a, a really important part of the mix. Technology, safety, etc. It's uh, been a couple of years, several years since uh, Fukushima, so there's that part of the, uh, the psychology. But the technology uh, is nuclear considerably safer now? Yes, there's actually a lot of studies that have come out that when you look at the health and safety record of nuclear on a grand scale, for the, when you look at it from a safety standards per the megawatt hours produced, nuclear is a very important fuel and it's both good from a clean energy side, this is zero carbon, but it's also got a very strong safety record. How do you push back or fight against, I mean, there's obviously sort of a strategic or geopolitical angle to this as well, right? Yes. I mean, it makes sense from a pure energy point of view and uh, economics as well in terms of efficiency, but then people start thinking, okay, nuclear power, power plant, electricity, oh no, uh, connect the dots, ellipses, uh, weapons. How do, you, how do you navigate that? Yeah, so f the investment that we made is to, into a business called Westinghouse. Westinghouse is a servicer of nuclear power, and so we're seeing an opportunity to play the trend from a servicing perspective, helping to make it safer, helping to manage the, um, the access to low carbon power that, that nuclear provides. Um, and, and we think that there's a huge opportunity. We're also seeing that the conversation is starting to change in Germany as well. We're seeing life extensions get approved in the US and we're seeing Even more focus on this. Right? Yes, so we're seeing a huge change in the focus of, of nuclear as an important part of the strategy, particularly because of the energy security concerns in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Earlier this week, uh, Natalie, we were talking to uh, Semcorp, which is partnering with uh, Japan to build the green hydrogen supply chain. Are you looking at hydrogen investments or is it still an emerging technology? No, we're, we're excited about the role that hydrogen can play uh, on the global economy. It's obviously going to be a very important part of the mix in Germany, uh, which is a big focus for us. Um, we're also uh, a Canadian company originally. Uh, there's a lot of hydro resources and renewable energy resources, so we think Canada's got a very strong role to play. We are actively working on projects. Uh, we've got one that we've announced with Enbridge that we're working on, which would be direct injection into the grid. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.